All right, live look out there this morning. We have fog, at least for some spots right here on the river. It's pretty interesting. You've got fog just on the river, kind of up towards the CCC and as you get closer to the banks there. But inside New Orleans, the city and going up uh, through most of the metro, we're doing pretty good at this point. Now you get outside of New Orleans, we've got dense fog up along Reserve, Hammond, uh, even up towards Slidell, we've got fog. I can guarantee if you're crossing the causeway and the bridges, you're going to be dealing with fog and quite a bit of fog over on the Mississippi coast and closer to the Louisiana coast as well. That dense fog advisory will go till nine and then it'll start to lift on up except for the waterways that'll linger through around noon. Current temperatures. It is not 123 degrees at the lakefront. Uh, it is in the 60s right now. 67 at Kenner, 67 Bell Chase, 65 in Gulfport. We've got 58 down towards Buris, uh, but everyone just kind of waking up gloomy and mild. A little bit humid too. 81 this afternoon. We're going to see a lot of clouds today. Not going to be as nice as yesterday, but it is still looking pretty dry. Only a 10% chance of rain and our winds will be breezy at times out of the south to southeast at 10 to 15. We do have a few showers right off the coast and out into the open waters. Nothing really inland, not really expecting much. Can't rule out a stray shower today, though. Most of the rain this weekend is going to be near this stalled cold front, which is to our north, well to our north, and that's where it's going to stay. There's going to be a lot of rain up here, maybe even some severe weather. The flooding front's going to be up there through the weekend, and the cooler weather is going to be up there, too. 81 today, 82 tomorrow. Tomorrow, warmest temperatures we've seen all year. We reached 80 officially yesterday, 83 actually. 73 on Monday. We'll get a cool front in here by late Monday. Tuesday, we're in the 60s. Monday, or Wednesday, we're in the 60s. And notice our average high, 68. So we're just going to be back down to where we should be. Thursday and even into Friday. So no big Arctic front with this one. Our rain chances are going to go up, especially late Monday and into Tuesday. I think that's going to be our rainiest period. Reason for it, this little stall front boundary is eventually going to start to move towards the south. That will happen late Sunday going into Monday. And eventually this rainfall and these showers and storms will start to move into the area. Looks like most of it could start to develop by Monday afternoon. A few claps of thunder here and there. Possibly some heavier rain at times into Monday evening, and then we'll continue with it with the on and off chances for showers and storms even into Tuesday, waiting for that cold front to clear on through the area. That will happen late Tuesday. So rainfall totals will be highest to our north, but we could pick up maybe an inch or two down here when it's all said and done. Isolated higher amounts are possible. It's just going to be something uh, to watch. But the severe weather threat pretty low right now, but we might have a few thunderstorms. So ending February off very spring like March. First day of March is Monday. Can you believe it? 73 degrees for the afternoon back in the 60s Tuesday and Wednesday, a little cooler in the mornings, drier Wednesday, but then another storm system moves in by Thursday and Friday.